The following video tutorial will describe the Prices tab when editing or adding a product in PrestaShop 1.6. You will need to be logged in to the PrestaShop Administrator. When you're logged into the Administrator, you would actually go to the Catalog, select Products, and then you would need to be either adding a new product or editing a product in order to work with the Prices tab. So here I'm already on the Prices tab. Here on the left you would select Prices. And the Prices tab is broken into three main sections. You can see a product price, specific prices, and finally priority management. To put it simply, the product price is the section where you define your product price. You will also be inputting your cost for the product in order to help define your profit margin. This margin is determined by the difference between your cost and the cost you are charging your customer. You can also apply a specific tax rule. If needed, you can also click on the link that says create new tax. And then if you're selling the product in quantity, you can define how much it is per the quantity. The checkbox underneath the unit price lets you display a product on sale. This shows up on the product page and in the text when the product, within the product listing. So here we'll show you an example of the product price on sale. So here's we're in the dresses category and you can see the product listing here which is a vertical list and this particular dress is on sale as per this tag. And if I were to actually go to the product page by clicking on it, you can see it's also marked as sale here as well. Going back and looking at these entry points here, the wholesale price is the price that you pay for the product, and the retail price is the price that you're charging the customer for the product. And again, the difference between these two prices is the margin. The final retail price is determined automatically for you here. It will show you it. It calculates it based on what you've entered. Once you've finished your entries, click on Save and Stay or Save, and then move down to the next section. Now, Specific Prices allows you to specify a price based on a customer's country or a group of people. Uh, a good example would be like say you have a special price for visitors, first time visitors to your store. You can actually say um, I want to add a, a price for visitors. So here you can say all currencies or you can specify a currency. Let's say we just say it's a dollar. So anyone who's using the dollar to pay. We'll say any country and the group's going to be visitor. The customers field here allows you to actually specify a customer. So if you don't want to be more general here, you can be very specific and actually select a specific customer who is registered with your store. They would need to be registered to your store in order for you to specify it, of course. The combinations options lets you select the combination or basically all combinations by default of your product. Or you can, and this is based on your product, you can also say that it's only going to apply to a specific size of your product or a particular attribute of your product here that would be listed in the drop down menu. In this case, we're looking at the printed dress, as you can see at the top here. And there is a small, medium, and large size, and these price rules apply to one of these sizes. You can also set a time for when the price is going to take effect. So let's say that. You want the sale to last from the beginning of July, so we'll go to the 1st of July, and we want it to end in July. So we click on the To field here, and you go to July, and you click on the last day of July. And if necessary, you can even go, you can bring this down all the way down to the time, the hour, and the minute. You can also base the price rule based on the unit number. So if you wanted the price rule to apply to every unit, then you would leave the unit number to 1. So starting at unit 1, the price rule would apply. Let's say that you want the price rule to apply after 
a thousand units have been sold. So if you say that the starting unit number is 1001, then the price will not apply until you've sold 1000 of those units. It will start with 1001. Now the product price is where you would change the actual price for this price rule. Notice that I can't change it right now. That's because right now it says leave base price here at this check mark. If I were to uncheck it, then I can actually go in here and change the price. You can also apply a discount. And you can make the discount use the currency units in terms of the dollars. Or you can have the discount be a percentage. Note that the discount applies after the tax. Now again, when you've completed entering all these entries for your price rule, you would need to save them in order to save what you've done. And then it'll be listed here underneath this section. So you can see your list of price rules as you create them. And that's the specific prices section. The final section of the prices tab is called priority management. And this applies to the price rules as well. There are occasions when a price rule will apply to your customer, but in multiple ways. You may have multiple rules, and you want to determine which rule actually applies to the customer and in what order. So priority and management allows you to do that. So if one customer fits multiple price rules, this section allows you to apply those rules per these four sections, these four priorities. These priorities are shop, currency, country, and group. So let's say that you have two price rules where one customer might fit into these rules, but you want to specify a specific priority for these rules. And I have two rules set up here. One that basically says all combinations, all currencies, the country, Russian Federation, is a 10% discount from the 1st of July to the last day of July for one from one quantity on okay and the second rule is the same thing except for it applies to anyone who's paying with a dollar and it's for group visitors and it's a 25 percent discount from the beginning of July to the end of July so the priority here has been set to the country to be first, the currency second, the shop third, and the group fourth. So if they're from Russia, the first discount would apply in that period of time. And they would need to be, they would be paying basically a 10% discount. If they're paying with a dollar, <clears throat> it's got a priority of number two. So it doesn't matter if you're from the Russian Federation. If you declared you're from Russia and you're paying with a dollar, you're still going to be getting the first discount, not the second. Sorry, Russia. Hope that clears that up. I just wanted to explain that a little more clearly. If you do need to get rid of uh, one of your specific price rules, when you, see, you can see them listed here, you can actually hit the trash icon to delete the rule. Then you hit save and stay. Once you've finished applying your priority management rules, click on Save and Stay or Save, and then you're done. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. Have a great day.